Today we are talking about drones for work and what is the difference between a work drone and a regular consumer drone. We're gonna talk about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and all the other stuff that all the YouTubers say. I'm sorry, I guess I think it's like a prerequisite that you have to do that. Okay, so today we are talking about drones for work. That's what we do here on this channel. We talk about enterprise drones. Drones that are being used in all sorts of different industries like search and rescue, like construction, uh, the list goes on and on. But today we wanted to tackle what the difference between just a regular consumer drone is and what a work drone actually is. And we're gonna walk you through some of these different drones and exactly what they do. I think you'll be surprised at what some of these drones do. Now, let's start off with the fact that, you know, you can use just a regular consumer drone for a lot of different things. So a drone like this Auto Evo Lite Plus, hey, this thing has a one inch sensor on it. It's easy to fly, it's easy to deploy, and if you're just looking for a regular RGB camera, you can't really beat this. Same thing with the Mavic 3. This is another great drone. We'll also throw in the DJI Air 2S. Uh, lots of great consumer drones that you can use for work purposes. But we're talking about just regular RGB imagery here. There's no thermal, there's no anything else on these drones, but you're gonna get them at a bargain price compared to some of these enterprise drones that we're about to talk about. Also wanna preface this with the fact that we're just talking about the drones that we sell here at Aerial Influence. So we're talking about DJI, we're talking about Autel. Uh, those are the drones we are actually gonna talk about today. We know there are others out there like Skydio, which are, are really, really great as well but we are gonna focus on the drones that we actually sell and use here at Aerial Influence. Okay, first up, a fan favorite, a big favorite of police departments around the country. We're talking about the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. I'm gonna hold it up here, see if we can get a good focus on that awesome little thermal camera there. Uh, so the reason that this is kind of groundbreaking is because it comes in a small package like a DJI Mavic 2 Pro, but it also has this high resolution thermal camera on it. So you're gonna get accurate heat measurements from even up at 400 feet. Uh, the other really nice thing about this one is it's got a speaker, got a speaker on top here so you can adjust it before you take off, but it's also got a spotlight and a beacon that you can put on top. $6,500 for the drone. If you want the whole package with the Fly More Pack, uh, you're looking at 69.69. So a great package uh, and a relatively cheap drone when it comes to enterprise drones. All right, next up is the Autel Evo 2 Dual Enterprise 640T. It's a long title for a really great drone. Now this one that I have here is the non-enterprise version, but picture the DJI drone that I just showed you and picture it with the same attachments that go on top. And then you have this drone. Again, really great high resolution thermal. One of the great things you get with Autel is there's no geofencing DJI. Uh, does geofence in certain areas where they think it could be some sort of an issue, a security issue, whatever, uh, they can geofence you. Autel doesn't do that. So right now in the United States, at least, they are not doing that. I know in other parts of the world, they are doing that. They are geofencing. But in the United States, that's, a, that's an important thing for a lot of people. If you fly in a lot of different areas and you want to make sure you can get this drone off the ground as long as you're doing it legally, um, you might want to go with an Autel. Now, they are a little more expensive but they also do have the smart controller, which is really, really nice. It's a huge screen, much bigger than the DJI version, but it's gonna come at a, at a price that's gonna be quite a bit more expensive. You're looking at around $8,700 for the enterprise version that has the speaker and beacon and all that kind of good stuff on top. So another great option, uh, especially for smaller police and fire departments and other work scenarios where you might need a, a thermal drone, something like inspection, but these really are incredible little tools that are quick to deploy. You can put them in the back of your truck and you have them up in the air within a minute or so. Next up is the Matrice 300 RTK with its H20T camera on it. This thing is a beast. This thing can do everything that the Autel drone, everything that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance that I just showed you, everything that those drones can do uh, is just bigger in a bigger way. It has an incredible zoom lens on it, really 200 times digital zoom. You get like 23 times optical zoom. So even 23 times with an optical zoom is really, really high level of zoom. Then you take it all the way up to 200 times 
uh, you're reading license plates really, really easily. But not only does it have a zoom, it also has that same high resolution thermal on it. So even at really high altitudes, you're still gonna get accurate heat readings on the ground, which is really important. But the H20T also has a laser range finder on it as well. So you're gonna be able to point at a certain location and it's gonna be able to tell you the exact GPS coordinates of whatever it is you're pointing at. It also has the ability to track subjects. So it could be tracking a suspect in some sort of a crime. Uh, it's really interesting. The drone goes straight up in the air. The drone itself doesn't move, but you lock on that subject. And with that really powerful zoom lens, it's able to track a subject for miles and miles. So another really great feature of this Matrice 300 RTK with the Zenmuse H20T. The downside of this drone, it's big. That's really the biggest downside of it. It is a big drone. It's a little bit to haul around. Uh, it's gonna take you four or five minutes to really get it together, make sure everything's locked up and get it up in the air. So what you're gaining in the robustness of the Matrice 300 RTK, you're losing in the ability to quickly deploy it. So know that. So we have a lot of police departments that are gonna have the smaller drones and then at the county level, they might have the Matrice 300 RTK. So just so you know, that's sort of what we've been seeing in that regard. So those are just a few of the work drones we have. Let's move on to some of our agricultural work drones. So first up is a drone like the Phantom 4 RTK Multispectrum. I'm going to see if I can get a nice little close-up of that one. Let's get it straightened up for you here. As you can see, it's got six sensors on it. Six. So you've got one RGB sensor and then you've got five other different bands of light that this drone is able to see. Now, can somebody like me tell you what those different light bands mean? No, but a crop analyst or a crop specialist will be able to tell you. So you fly this drone over your crops, you're gonna see those different colors that show up on the different maps that this drone is able to put out. And it's gonna tell your crop analyst exactly what that portion of your crop needs. Does it need more water? Does it need more nutrients? And instead of blanketing your entire field with what you think it needs, you're actually gonna be able to spot spray and make sure that you're only hitting the areas that you need. So that's a really impressive feature of this Phantom 4 RTK multispectral. Uh, it's got a little brother named the Phantom 4 RTK. You're gonna get centimeter level precision out of these drones paired with the RTK base station. So really great tools, mapping for agriculture. These are the drones that farmers are starting to use right now to protect their crops. Okay, last but not least, I gotta talk about the big drones. The biggest drones that we have, these spraying drones. First up, the DJI Agras T10. This is an incredible little drone. It's under 55 pounds when it's fully loaded, which is an important thing that we're gonna talk about in just a little bit. But this is a spraying and spreading drone. That's right, this drone will go out over your field and spray and spread. Up to 15 acres per hour is what this little guy can put out. And what's incredible about these drones is A, they are RTK enabled, which means you're gonna get that centimeter level accuracy, but also the fact that they're fully automated. So you essentially draw your map. You tell this drone where you want it to fly, you hit go, the drone makes up its own path on how it's gonna spray. It goes out, it sprays. When it runs out of pesticide or runs out of battery, it comes back to you, you reload it. It remembers where it left off and then goes back to the spot that it left off and continues on its path. So really incredible technology. Now there are a couple other ones. There's the T20, there's the T30, the T30 being the biggest one that we offer here at Aerial Influence. It's gonna cover 40 acres an hour. It's above 55 pounds. Now, what does that mean? Well, right now in the United States, to spray any sort of dangerous materials from a drone, you have to have an exemption to what's called the FAA Part 137, which means that you're able to spray from drone. Basically, you're becoming a crop duster. Well, for under 55 pounds, it is a lot easier to get that certification. Over 55 pounds is much harder. We've got exemptions for both under 55 pounds and over 55 pounds. So if you need help with that, make sure you give us a call. That is the service that we provide. But these big spraying and spreading drones are starting to change the way farmers do things. You know what, as a matter of fact, speaking of farms, this is a fish farm. We actually got to go to, to the middle of Iowa, one of the biggest koi farms in the country, and we fed this guy's fish, thousands of fish. 
because he was sick of driving around on a golf cart and feeding them by hand. Uh, so we showed him exactly how we could do it with the spreading functions on these big spraying drones. So I wanted to make sure that I pointed that out to, you know, farms, you don't have to just think about uh, wheat fields and corn fields. Okay, so that does it for today. That was just kind of a little entry into drones for work. We appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and check out all the other videos we have on YouTube. If this is a topic that interests you, We've been doing this since 2016 and have hundreds of videos out there. So make sure you go check some of those videos out. We appreciate you stopping by and we will see you next time.